So I'm Marcia and I am the uh, countryside ranger for High Life Highland and I cover Easter Ross and South East Sutherland. And today we are looking at, at lichen and how to identify some of the easiest lichens uh, to look at in the field. So what is a lichen? A lichen is it's a living thing and it's uh, basically a fungus, a fungus that has developed agriculture. So fungi like us can't get their energy directly from the sun, they have to get it from somewhere else and lichens are fungi that have decided to, to gather free living algae into their structure and, and use it to photosynthesize for them. And it's called a symbiotic relationship because the algae gets something out of it too. So the fungi gets the sugars from the algae but the algae also gets protection from the fungi because it's inside a layer of fungi it's safe there from extreme in, in weather or wet conditions and it can go in more places than it would be able to on its own. So a question I get asked a lot is where do you find lichen and the answer is pretty much everywhere they will go on almost anything all they're looking for is is a substrate basically a surface to grow on so looking at walls like this is definitely a good option because they will have maybe not the big conspicuous type of lichens that you find on trees all over the highlands but uh, they'll have loads and loads of small little what we call crustose lichens which basically just look like patches of chewing gum and sometimes they're even more inconspicuous than that and they're like a similar colour to the rock so you really have to get in close and have a look but the minute you do you will find lots of different species actually which you may have just taken as different slightly different bits of colour on the rock but it's actually uh, a lichen. So the, the best way to, to look uh, at lichen and to identify lichen is on the tree but for, for purposes of just demonstrating it is also much easier to, uh, to pick up fallen branches uh, to get a closer look because sometimes they can be quite high up the, the tree. The, there's quite a few different lichens actually on this branch but the most obvious one and the most common one by far uh, particularly in the highlands is uh, this big bushy one here uh, that is called Usnea. That's the genus name, so it's not the species. Commonly it's called oak moss, um, but it's not a moss, it's a lichen. So this is one of the easiest ones to identify because it's attached at a single point and then it branches out from there. And it's basically, it just branches out like a tree or a shrub. Um, if you're unsure if it's Usnea that you're looking at, it's got quite a neat little trick. If you give it a little gentle tug, it's quite springy on the branch. And that's that's a giveaway giveaway sign. So here we've got uh, one of my favourite lichens, and it's probably one of the easiest to identify uh, whilst you're you're out and about. This is lungwort, and it's one of the um, one of the indicators of ancient woodland. So there's not many places left uh, these days that are you know ancient woodland that have been undisturbed for for hundreds of years. Uh, so there are still plenty of places you can find it in Highland, uh, but it is, it's a bit of a treat. You tend to need to look in places like, like where we are today, uh, a really glen where you're in a bit of a dip, in a bit of a gully, and there's lots of moisture in the air. Um, but this is a really easy one to identify because it is big and it is leafy. Uh, it's got that beautiful bright green color. So uh, lichens have been used for um, lots of reasons. There's a, a massive amount of uses for them actually. And they uh, particularly have been used in medicinal research because of all the chemicals that they produce naturally. There's like 70 different chemicals that lichens can produce. And there's a lot of them that haven't fully been studied yet either. So we don't really know what uses they could provide. Uh, but certainly in the cosmetics industry, Usnea and Avernia, the big bushy lichens, are used 
um, to kind of make the smells last longer so they don't just disappear the minute you put the perfume on. Um, in terms of, of medicine, there, there even is a company in Sweden at the moment who's using lungwort uh, to make cough syrup. Uh, it's supposed to help soothe the throat. So this is really cool. This is another type of lichen called dog lichen and this is one that you usually find on the ground but it tends to like to be in, in amongst moss. Uh, so if you get really mossy trees you can sometimes find it climbing up trees. It's called dog lichen because of all these teeth that it has underneath and they're just to hold it onto the moss basically uh, but that's where it gets its name because you look like dog's fangs. Yeah. whole new world you're literally looking at a, you know a different scale of a rainforest there's so much there so many different species of lichen and then there's all the organisms that rely on them to, to live in them to eat them to shelter them it's, it's it is like a safari <laughs> on a different scale <laughs> So here we're, we're in a bit of beach woodland and you can see here that the, the lichen is practically dripping off, off the tree branches. Uh, the branches are covered in, in lichen and that's a really good sign for us because um, these kind of lichens, your really fluffy bushy lichen, they don't like air pollution and they, they really struggle to grow in areas where there is a fair amount of air pollution. So when you, you see these really bushy lichens and you see lots of lichen dripping off trees, that's a really good sign, a really good indication that you've got nice fresh clean air. Have a look at the, the amount of crusty lichen that is on this, this beech tree. It's absolutely covered in it. There's not an inch of bark that I can see that has not got a bit of lichen on it. It's amazing. I hope you've enjoyed my little mini lichen safari. If you are interested in finding out more about lichen or more ranger events, then you can look on our High Life Highland Countryside Ranger website. Um, and there's also a, a blog post there on lichen, so you can find out more by reading that as well.